gonna do this just because. You hear me? I'm gonna be different. M. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna put I mean, M there. Give. We gonna put M and them in that. Trenches. We got a guest tonight, special guest, you feel me? And he always win in this bitch, you feel me? What's going on, my dog? Man, chilling, man. Just working, been in the studio, doing my thing. For the show, so before we get, you know, deep into what's going on right now, if you could just give me a little background on where you from and, you know, how you was raised, you know, however you want to do that. Uh, from the east side of Detroit. Mac Ave, Mac and Garland, right around the corner from Mac and B. With. So, how was them times growing up, you know, on Mac? What was this? The shit. 80s, 90s? 90s yeah. What? The 90s? Yeah, shit. Late 80s, early 90s. Shit, yeah, the 80s, I was really a little nigga. So yeah, 90s. <coughs> I mean, like every other motherfucker hood in the ghetto, man, you know. Uh, syrup bread, uh, <laughs> noodles and hot sauce, mayo bread, now cheese bread sandwiches, shit like that, yeah, you know, uh, my mama, I lost my mom. my mama was murdered when I was my seven, so, yeah, and yeah, pops was doing 15 years, so I stayed with my grandma, you feel me, life was good besides all the boys, but you know, I always took my mother lemons and made lemonade though so mm -hmm. even even the struggle don't seem like the struggle right right definitely when you know i mean we all came up in the hood so we know how that is it be bad but it don't it don't it don't be bad yeah we make a way out that shit. exactly mm -hmm. out the mud you feel me yeah. we don't even realize it's bad when we that young yeah yeah you be having fun mm -hmm. i mean what playing with my motherfucking cousins playing with my homeboys on the block Playing house with the girls on the block, you know. Oh, you go. Fight. Oh, uh, not the girl. Out. Man, what? You I, I, I don't whooped a lot of in my life, man. <laughs> so Go, yeah, going you gotta, up on the ass. I don't mean to stop you, but you know you do have an interesting story as far as growing up, and uh, you know yeah. what I'm saying, like your pops. You feel me? You said he did. Oh yeah. Fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. So he uh, so he did the fifteen. He out now, right? Yeah. Cool, cool. So, all right. So, growing up, I want to ask you this because we don't skip the childhood. What got you to doing tattoos? What got you to that stage? Uh, hustling and and getting into trouble. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got tired of going to jail. I had to find a way to do yeah, it. Yeah, I was like, man, all is doing hard time. I don't want to be the one that's just looking dumb as hell, getting locked up. For, you know what I'm saying? Because I got locked up like my third time. I think I was like 17. Damn. And dog was like uh, the turnkey. He said, I done worse shit than you. I just didn't get caught. Right. Mm -hmm. Can't get you caught. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It my head up and, and it stuck with me. You get what I'm saying? So I was just like a lot of shit, man. I was like, dog, you'll be wasting your, your time doing this shit. You feel me? And your money doing this shit. You done put, what, 5000 to make two thousand, right? And right. I, I've been drawing my ass off since I was a kid. Like, okay, we gonna go. We we had to hop back to the childhood. I got my ass with my grandma for drawing uh, Iron Man and Spider Man and all that shit in my room on the wall. Hell yeah, but it looked like the real <laughs> shit though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it was like the first day she told my uncle and auntie and them. You get know what I'm saying? They came over mad as hell and then walked in the room smiling like, whoa. He got some, right. yeah. Like he good as hell, but they already knew I was a good. Artist because my pops, yeah. pops used to be sending all type of sweet ass home from the pen, but she saw that. Shit. So, me and my homeboy, shout out my 
Devon too, his name versus nine, and he be making beats. We used to draw together. So, oh, so he from the hood. He from the hood. He was one of the motherfuckers. When I started doing that, shit, he was like, I don't know why motherfuckers surprise you sweet like that. We've been drawing like this as a kid. Cause you know when I did the tattoos, I went no tattoo man. I was a tattoo artist. Right, right. Yeah, for sure. I went to school to learn. You was definitely an artist. Yeah. Because I, I had license for that shit, man. That that and by the way, that was my first job ever in life. Tattooing. Mm. Tattooing. Working for myself. I I tried to get two jobs and I gave up after that. I tried to get a job when I was like month sixteen. I'm hustling like a month. It had the balls then. You feel me? <laughs> I'm talking about getting money with my niggas bringing home like 700 a week, and I'm a hustler. I'm like, shit, I'm going to always make my money anyway. You get what I'm saying? My phone going to do what it's going to do. Free nights and weekend. Right. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Free nights and weekend. Yeah, that's, that's the phone seven. I had. Yeah, after seven. Sprint. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, this how I knew I was going to be a rich dog. After two years of free nights and weekends, I spent a million dollars. Remember, it used to tell you how much how you much spent you all together? Like, yeah. like, yeah. Bill. yeah. My was I remember my being like nine hundred and eight hundred thousand. You get what I'm saying? That's a million dollars. That's a yeah, million. Sure. You get what I'm saying? So imagine, you know, what that phone was doing, man. Yeah. So you said that because I, I since you said that, I'm just ask you this. So what what's the biggest L that you ever took to make you say to make you name yourself? Danny always wins. You feel me? Or is it one? I'm going to just say this. I'm a thinker. So I don't put myself in those situations where I could lose. A lot of people put themselves in situations to lose and don't realize they put themselves in situations to lose because they be naive. Right. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So the Danny always win thing was, shit, like far as fighting motherfuckers and that, I never put myself in no situation like, oh, I'm going to fight this because he's smaller. I always right. just whooped whoever came to me. You get what I'm saying? Ooh, and I can't, and it's like this. I I am blessed with this. I could look at it and t tell how I'm going to whoop his ass if it's a competition. <laughs> I know everything I'm about to do to him. <coughs> and it go like that every time. <clears throat> so it was a lot of shit like that. You know, growing up in the neighborhood. And I just always wanted whatever I did. Like, if I, whatever I put my mind to, bro, I'm going to be the best at it. Right. Mm -hmm. sure. So that's that. That's where that Danny always win came from. So what really inspired you? We gonna go a little further. And I'm gonna fuck you all up with this though. <laughs> Another thing with Danny always win. The reason why I went with it and stuck with it for my rap name because that was just my social media name. Mm -hmm. It was because if a nigga had to speak on me, and even if he was talking down on me, he had to say your name. He had to say Danny always win. That's like that. Yeah. yeah who you Danny talking about? Always wins. Danny always wins. So all the hate he just put out in the world on me, you get what I'm saying? That's that shit, mother. just cut it right out because he had to say I always win after that. Yeah. You get That's what I'm saying? Mother. It's the laws yeah, of attraction. So saying, yeah, you would think it for sure. Yeah, speaking speaking positive you know, sure. to the energy and to so, the world. So what what got you influenced on the music set to make you want to start doing music? I mean, you know I've been rapping all my life, bro. Like. In the neighborhood. Well, hold on, I want to. I'm, I don't mean to cut you off, but man, I ain't never know, knew you rap, right? Right. So we've been doing all, you know, living life, doing all this, mm -hmm. uh, you know, just living. Mm -hmm. So one day, we we down here, and start mm -hmm. rapping. I'm like, damn, are you been having that shit the whole time? Where's <laughs> I'm yeah. like, well, yeah, record something. He's like, I ain't ready yet, Blue. I ain't ready. But when yeah, I'm right. ready, you gonna know. Yeah, I, I, I want to take like it serious that. then. I had made some songs uh, before you, you know, you heard that shit that I was rapping in, whatever freestyle, because I was, used to be freestyling everything. Like I said, I'm, I'm quick and think I'm, I'm a quick thinker and I, I'm quick on my feet, so I can really come up with some shit fast as hell when it comes to that rapping. Shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm really like an alien with that shit on some Kendrick so Lamar, shit, and I just be dumbing it down. Yeah. Everything I drop freestyle, all my motherfuckers. Songs. I don't care how sweet it is. Man, I just heard you on the way here. I just heard you saying one of them songs. You said I don't. You don't write. No, I don't. I heard you say. I said, no, damn, cause I don't write. Uh uh. Mm. No, but I don't you don't write. write. Not at all. Yeah. So what inspired you though? Like I know you've been rapping. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, the hood. Look, okay. <clears throat> the hood used to be calling me baby hurt. You get what I'm saying? Right. When I was younger, like. 
Okay. If a nigga yeah. can rap, if a nigga can rap, they would go get Danny. Go get Danny. So I'm going to give my some shout outs too. It was three niggas in the hood that rap. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of who rap in the hood, but I'm somebody that stood out. You get what I'm saying? Mm. At that time, in my era, you feel me? It was me, Mike, Check, and TB. You get what I'm saying? And it was like, they used to say, Danny, Mike, Check, and TB, the coders in the hood. But my niggas, they writers. Mm-hmm. So if a come and he be trying to battle rap and all that shit, they'll come get me. You feel me? My streets done came and got my Vernon. You feel me? Streets and them, they done came and got me to, to go against me. That's how hard I was. Like, this stemmed from high school, us rapping in high school at the lunchroom, at the lunch table, mm-hmm. off the motherfucking... <clears throat> Uh, wing dings fried hard and the tater tarts <laughs> off the buttermilk ranch and things like that. Yeah, so yeah, so I I always, you know, been a rapper, mm-hmm. and I always felt like this as I was younger. Right, I used to have dreams all the time. I was like, I might just have these dreams because I'm fucked up. And before my daddy went to jail, we was rich. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Even though I was two, I was still rich. You know what I'm saying? So I used to feel like, damn, is I'm having dreams because we had all this shit or this shit coming. Mm-hmm. I remember one day I was asleep. I'm like 11 years old, 10 years old, 11, because a couple years after that, it was on the flow all the way. Like I was already 10 years old, 11. I come in at 1, 2 in the morning. You get what I'm saying? It was back in the day. I guess I don't know if it's back in the day, yeah, but sure. it's it, it was different. You get what I'm saying? Like, we could really stay out late. You know, all that boy get home before the streetlights came home is when I go down to Alabama with my great-grandma. She f***ed me up for playing with them streetlights a couple of times. Different and rules, I was just man. like, damn, man, like, you tripping like this? You know what I'm saying? So I always was able to do what the f- I wanted to do and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the, the inspiration and all that, it, it just... So when, when did you, when did you start taking the series? When you started taking music series? When you was like, I'm finna go hard and and, 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 and get it off of this. Because when See, I met look, you, you was doing tattoos. Yeah, right. right. Tattoo shop. Yeah, I would go yeah. back to the tattoo shop. Though. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So I, let me I, ask I, you. I, this, I had girl. that shit running for a minute. I, I opened up the tattoo shop when I was 21. Y'all gotta think man, about it, Blue. You wasn't no 21, man. Yeah. When you opened that, what? I, I, I wasn't 21. No, was you younger? You. You talking about, no, I'm talking about the tattoo shop around, you know. Yeah, bro. I, the I, last one. That one was open for 11 years. So it was open for 11 years. It's been, it it been closed man. like four years. I'm 36, bro. I ain't old like that. You Maybe know what I'm saying? You saying man? 36. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I opened, I opened a tattoo shop when Lauren was two. Lauren would be 14 next month. So the tattoo shop was open 12 years. Exactly. And it been closed like, what, two years? Because I was rapping and still had to open. I've been taking the rap series since 2015. Man, how the hell you get intertwined with dog, man? Who? Man, I used to, we used to, I used to come over there to the shop and shit. I see this laid on the couch. What the f*** you doing here? Who? Look, he don't even remember. Who? Chips. Your mans. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, you know how I, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got intertwined with Chips through my uh, people, through my people. My cousin, uh, City G. Oh, City G. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah you know City G. Shout out City G. Yeah, he he owned the motherfucking apartment right there on grass shit. Cross bow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like eight apartments in there. Yeah. And he, sure. he, he was in that, you know, Chip was in there staying. So, cuz was taking care of the nigga, looking out for the nigga. So, I looked at him like he was family, you mm. know. I looked at him like family, and I I ain't thinking nigga had no reason to lie. That's why I say you can't be naive, you right. know. Because I be thinking, because I ain't no lying. I be thinking everybody ain't no lying. Cause I was so sure wondering, like, man, how in the f you know? Yeah, you know yeah, but you know, a lot of people gravitate to me, you know. Yeah. Like I had to type to come around no one. I don't give a f- what you doing, how how much money you getting, how popular you is. Like you gotta want me around you or come around me, and then that's how I end up coming around you. Mm-hmm. Right. You get what I'm yeah, saying? Sure. Everything be organic. Like me and my nigga Poe. Our shit organic. Every time we seen each other, it was love. You get know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To where when we follow each other on Instagram, we moving around and doing that shit. You get know what I'm saying? And I was just like, man, you know what? This is my baby. I seen him working hard like a motherfucker. I reached out to him, and I was just like, bro, let's turn up. You get know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know? And you know, speaking of Instagram, right? I done seen you on Instagram a few times. You got a good heart, my mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I, I done seen you on Instagram that. a few times, man, talking to some 
less fortunate people trying Man. to get them together. You know what I'm Man, saying? I, I do it a lot more than what what I show to the world. You yeah. Know? yeah. I'm, I'm I'm really a person like people can lean on. Like a lot of people, they don't really believe that you supposed to treat motherfuckers how you really want to be treated, man. Like, I done heard I was a bully when I was younger because I beat up a lot of motherfuckers, but I beat them up because they took my kindness for weakness. Right. For sure. You get what I'm saying? They you a bully I'm, too, though. Yeah, but I'm really not a bully. Hey, you a bully too, yeah, though. Bully, you know, I, I mean, I, I done done my thing, but it really being self-defense a lot of times with me, man. You know, I can get like that, but I'd rather be positive. You know, I'd rather be positive. I mean, I ain't really seen you hop out your body. You know, too mm -hmm. many times. Right. You feel me? Right. So I, I can't say you don't bully like right. that. Sticking to the Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Since, since, <laughs> we on, since, okay. we on, since we on Instagram. All right. Sticking to the Instagram. Man, what the hell happened a couple years ago with them Chicago man? What was that? Because I seen you flip out on Instagram. I got something to drink. Hell yeah, we got you. All right. Yeah. Man, ice baby. cold water. Good ice cold water. I could really put y'all on a bad right? Mm -hmm. But I don't really want to put it. That probably will fucking go viral. I could edit whatever <laughs> you want to edit out, man. Yeah, that probably go viral, man. But it it really ain't no it ain't no problem with with me or no from Chicago or them either. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It really ain't no more problem. It was dog, the individual. Dog, yeah, the right. individual reached out to me. He wanted me to FBG duck up. Oh, yeah, I'm about to just show y'all right quick. This crazy. I don't even, I don't even like that nigga. Yeah, man. yeah. He, <laughs> wanted, he wanted, he wanted, yeah, he wanted, he wanted me to. Duck, man. Yeah, look, I want, I want. Listen, let me tell you something. I ain't on that shit with a motherfucker. But look, big bro, you see who it is? Cause he got always had respect for me, mm. even when I got on his ass. When it first happened and he was on the internet woofing and I said what I said, he commented towards me like an hour later and said, yo, I listen to all your music. You feel me? I follow you already. Mm. And when I clicked on this page, it was like follow back. Right. You get what I'm saying? So I'm like, do do f with me. Yeah. But I wasn't feeling bad because I know what he's be trying to do. He ain't just go at Snap Dog. He really diss Detroit because when he did Snap and he said, yeah, any other. Smoke caps, you know, and you know he just started going. Yeah, just going. Right, so once you diss one, then you dissing the whole city. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't even care if I don't fuck with a nigga in the city. I don't like when they fuck with us. Right. Mm -hmm. For sure. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, look. He say it's some sucker performing at the club called Six Nine out there. But you know why he doing that? Cause he know I'm like that. Yeah. Right. You feel me yeah. from the situation? Right. I don't know about all that shooting and all that. That ain't had nothing to do with me, man. You get what I'm saying? But you get what I'm saying? And then he sent this. And then say, dog, man. Oh, yeah. See, look. Oh, uh, yeah, I see. I said, what's your number? And that's when I told him, like, man, I, I ain't about to jump in your Right. Yeah, you get right. what I'm saying? I said, but that shit washed between us. Like, nigga, that was just some internet shit. Y'all niggas even on that shit. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I knew it was squashed anyway, you feel me? <coughs> yeah, but that was some bullshit. Yeah, anyway. The police got on my ass off that shit. He was, Did yeah, because Dog was on the internet talking reckless. I guess in Chicago, you get away with a lot of that shit. He was trying That's to act like I pulled up and shooting. He was trying to play it. Damn. Yeah, like, yeah, the only, yeah. Snap, you ain't like that. that Danny like that, though. I'm like, ooh, shit, he's spicy. Yeah, yeah. man. He was yeah, spicy. They, 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 they throw your name in there like that. Yeah, that that got like... shot all type of shit. You was trying to act like I, you yeah. know, I wasn't even around. Right. That make you seem like yeah, but I did see crazy. the one little young dog. Well, he was on Mac with uh, Rico Records one. Who came on? They came like down. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Don't yeah. nobody be it. I really don't be want to give no motherfucking like. <laughs> I ain't gonna even lie. We, we can edit that out. But, but yeah. no, it's all good. It's all love. But yeah, he was with him. And y'all saw what, yeah, what was the yeah, repercussions yeah. from that. But that was all, only on some respect. Type uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Me and him had a couple conversations because I thought after I choked him up and shit, you feel Basically, I beefing over Rico Reckless and who not from there. Secondly, it appears that y'all... I ain't even smack you on camera because... That was a good choke, too. Yeah, that wasn't a regular choke. It was a lot of people. It, you got to think about this. There's a lot of people be trying to press charge on for whipping yeah. at that time. So I was like, yeah. damn. Motherfucker. 
think I'm rich as hell. They keep trying to <laughs> press charges on me and shit. I'm, I'm used to the streets. Like, right, 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 right. like right. this shit over after this shit. Or it's, it can go all the way there. It's that or it's that. You feel me? I'm trying to get some money. Man, motherfucker's trying to get some money, dog. And when I did that, I, he was so terrified. I just didn't think he was about to go home, hop in his car, yeah, in his Oldsmobile, and then talk crazy like he was talking. Then he made a diss song on me. Right. Oh, you get what I'm saying? Then you see me in a store like a year later. I ain't even got no energy for you. Like, I ain't even mad at you no more. You get what I'm saying? Like, you was a bitch for real. How I was feeling. You get what I'm saying? So, and I don't know no, no man, no bitch. You get what I'm saying? I'll be trying to have respect for people. Yeah, yeah, for I'm sure. trying to you change my no ways. Yeah. yeah. I ain't know your yeah. type of time, yeah. bro. Yeah. yeah. So, I see him uh, when we walking out the store. His eyes get so big, like, and he's like, he died right there. Like, he just <laughs> lost his breath. His <laughs> eyes got big. And he just was, he was through. Like, oh, my God. Yeah. And I said, Man, I ain't on that shit with you, and he just calmed down. So, like, man, he like, man, I, I'm out here selling colognes. And he sell perfumes and shit now. And, you know, he was back rapping with Vez and all them. They was all rapping. See, I don't even know. That little nigga was really getting off for real. And if they can get him back popping, Mac Boy Chris, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll give him the light because I want him to go ahead and do his thing, you know? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, he really ain't get hard if you think about it. A nigga his size, I don't care how much heart you got, boy. I, I put these motherfucking vice grips on you yeah, and he was things gonna let like you that. Do it. He was going to let you do it, too. Yeah. He was going to let you do whatever you was going to do. But yeah, he tried to fight he, it, though, if you pay attention. Yeah, yeah. He, he tried to resist he tried. that shit. He tried. You feel I, me? But see, what a nigga fa failed to realize, some niggas look at me like a fat boy and don't know I'm 350 and I'm lifting three-something. Yeah, a lot of like times. All your life, yeah, bro. even even when I was even when I was 190, I was living three something. <laughs> so if I'm walking around with three something, you can imagine. Hustle, you know, mm -hmm. y'all big. Some is big for nothing, but niggas like us walking around every day and moving around, just being yourself, get you strong for sure. because you got a lot of weight on you. For sure, right? You get what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, man. I was thinking about the bully. You said it because you a bully too, dog, bro. You talking about Pump? No. Nah. I'm talking about you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I ain't no bully, you can tell man. My don't play. Man, I'll be chilling, man. You can tell they don't play. Listen, but you call me a bully, too. You ain't, Danny called me. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, though. I done seen you smack the shit out of motherfuckers and dog, dog walk niggas on several occasions, Blue. You see what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? You 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 get crazy. You trying to throw But I ain't gonna me. even put that on you because I need people to come do interviews with you. Right. Because you, right. you, you got a lot of respect. Yeah, for sure. You a real. So mm -hmm. we gonna leave it at that. I mean, I, I changed. I, I changed a lot of that. I mean, I can. Oh, you a up still. Yeah. yeah, when you said yeah. that, that just reminded me of that night in the after hour. I was like, oh. I keep hearing about that That's night. I was family, mad about man. that. I, I keep hearing about that night from everybody bro. but you. I, I don't have a story from everybody but you. Me, man. Now look, I'm Didn't six feet, Didn't he let feet, it man. get off. You feel I'm it? six feet. Cuz, what, six, three, six, four. I'm cuss, six, two. Cuss, okay, but cuz, he looked like he's six, three, six, four. With yeah. <laughs> he a giant. Yeah. Okay. Damn, cuz, why you gotta let people know how you, how I, who I, yeah, the bully, okay. the bully, <laughs> look, the bully, man, look, dog, cuz was tripping in that, cuz, look, look, cuz looked like, he, let me, let me do this right quick, that's my kid's call, I'm gonna right, turn it off, sure. cuz, okay, look, this guy right here, he smacked the shit out of a nigga, knocked out a bouncer, he, he did a lot that night, he, and he beat the people up that came with him too. Oh, he beat up everybody. <laughs> no, you hear me? I, no, I did not. If it wasn't for me, I was like Superman. I saved the night that night. Listen, dog. I ain't beat up everybody. They say the, the word is you Bobby Boucher. Yeah, you Bobby Boucher. Man, listen, man. <laughs> he Bobby Boucher. Listen, man. Bar, listen, look. I was on the ground like, look, I was looking up at that. Like, I, put I put cuz. I put cuz high up in the air and put him on the shit. I thought he broke his motherfucker. I, hit, I put him on the ground so yeah, hard. Yeah, bounced back yeah. up so fast. That motherfucker jumped up so fast and said, who did that to me? <laughs> Man, the whole room went to that side, right? So I'm really thinking it's on. Soon as he said that, I said, I did and put him back on the shit one more time. Then he tried to, you know, he go crazy and shit, calm down. You know, it was just crazy. It was a crazy night. Yeah, but it was a crazy night. come to find out, this is my cousin. And I'm, I'm see, this is why all our family should always he, go to family reunions and shit. Like, like that, I'm security. It's really look. Dead. This is what it is. It's really me and my people. For real, you get what I'm saying. And we just trying to make sure this 
run right and everything, and we ain't had no bad nights. It's an after hour. It's going yeah, down every sure. night in this. Yeah, see, I'm in my zone. I done fucked up about 30. I'm in my zone up there. I'm fucked up. Bobby Boucher I'm, in the whole game. Man, what? Shoot, <laughs> shoot out. Look. Man, let me not say nothing because I don't know what to happen. Motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah, but but, but it, it didn't last for too long. It didn't that. last too yeah. long after that. It didn't last too long. It was a couple shootouts and shit like that. I wasn't in it. Look, I, I get back <laughs> down. I get back down the way, motherfucker. My girl, she was like, oh, shit. I heard, heard it got down on you last night. I'm like, shit, I ain't, ain't Man, nothing wrong but, with me. Can I tell you something though? Can I tell you like, something? Daddy, you, was, yeah, you was Bobby good. Boucher. Look, you was good. You was good. I hit you with a hook too, cause I had to. No, you ain't hit me with no money. I had to. Oh, now nah, you cap it, man. I had to, but look, let me tell you, let me tell you something. Either I was, you you tell the ass ass ass. Ass. look, cause let me tell you, let me man, tell you. No, Can I tell you something? Me, Cuz was off he that, that 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 gasoline. Yeah. He was all the way in there. Damn. He don't even remember smacking the blood out. He smacked the nigga unconscious. We're going to leave it at that with that one. You hear me? He did his thing. Like I said. And you know what? I've thing. been watching him go through what you just said you've seen him go through uh, since we was kids. You feel ooh, me? Oh, he dangerous. And yeah. what you did was the only way to stop the Only way to stop the nigga. <laughs> and guess what? Hey. Listen, bro. Well, this well, how I know you. Was, peace can, and you can I tell you something? You know why you heard that from your girl when you got down there? Because they, all, no, they always want to see the mother. King fall. They always want to see the big bad motherfucker fall. Man. Mm. You get what I'm saying? I mean, but it was straight. They want to see. Listen, they, I'm just saying. They listen, bro. You done whooped up everybody. So imagine ten you smacked up. They can't wait to go back and say, <laughs> finally got that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> finally got his big ass. For sure. You get what I'm right saying? There in the hood. But look, we are gonna put this on the flow. I I really do got these. I don't whoop bouncers. Like one time I whooped the bouncer. And he started doing karate, and I started doing karate with him. Oh, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, I kick high as hell, like, all the way over my head. Type. Yeah, you do, too. I you see what I'm it. saying? I'm really strong. And, 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 I, and look, I know, I be looking at this dog. That's why I can't underestimate this dog. Because I see some big that's built like me, and I be like, oh, lazy nigga, this and that, right? Yeah. Nigga, he can't move like I move. Don't underestimate these big Cause I burn a little nigga. Yeah, yeah, I tell him. I'm running fast. I be doing 100 push-ups still. You get what I'm saying? My legs cut up like a bodybuilder. I got this motherfucker with everything else like the horse. <laughs> this shit all still brick. I be telling you that like, nigga, just because I'm big, don't, don't think. That's what I just, I just told him. I said, mm -hmm. man. Oh, yeah. I said, shit. You say no got the playhouse over here, baby. Hell, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Me, us three going out to the club? Oh, I'm oh, so motherfucking cockable. You could be 20 deep, bitch. We running through 20 of y'all. Man. If it get like and that, even though we ain't trying to be like that, night. I don't want you like that, cuz, cuz you dangerous like that. I'm telling you. You, get you big, uncontrollable, you cuz. Yeah. When you yeah, get I like do that. Get uncontrollable listen, sometimes. I'm telling you, listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah you right. Look, you when, I put, when I put you down the first time, That's you jumped up so fast up. that I had to hurry up and sit back and get you. <laughs> I had to, cuz it was about to be over. He was about to fuck everybody up. The whole, look, as soon as he said, who the fuck just put me on my. Everybody went to the other side. You had to do it one more so, time. Yeah. I, I, I ain't scared of shit. I'm like, I did. Yeah. But as soon as I said that, it was on the floor. Yeah, you, you see? Feel me? And he was coming. He came. He went like he just, I did, and he was just like, okay, now do it again. Right. He swung and tried to get me. That's where the jab came from. That's when I hit him with the, bah, bah. Yeah. I hit him with two, bah, bah. But, <laughs> and that, I, I didn't slam him that time. You know I, dropped, I dropped him to the floor that day. But, 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 but look, I never heard him say that, 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 that night. Yeah, but see, can I tell you something? Yeah, I think look, look, we family. But look, like, so, you know how we swinging like this? Man. See, I got this from my pops from here. It's like if I come from here, I'm hitting like a car crash. <laughs> I don't. So I hit it so fast, I don't even Short, see it strong, coming. It, yeah, it be like, pat, pat. I, I, I don't swing from back here. Mm. If I swing from back here, it's ugly for Mm, I'm them, bro, I done, if I swung back here from downtown one day, walking with my brother Leno, and did like Hunchback in Notre Dame, put his eye down here, and I stopped <laughs> punching niggas in the face. I ain't punch him in the face, mm. but I stopped punching him in the face because I punched that hard. Right. I saw I saw a video on, on Dirty Glove Bastard today on they uncut, and the, <laughs> arguing with a stripper. The boss are trying to break it up. He... The, the stripper come around the bouncer and hit the nigga. Now the nigga like, no, f*** all this, bitch. Trying to get past the bouncer. Yeah. Man, he trying to get past the bouncer. The bouncer trying to be nice. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. 
and Bouncer put him man, on. Man, Bouncer punched that nigga right here. And I was like, damn, that little motherfucker strong like me. Because that's what I do, punch a nigga's body like that. Do, do, man. And he know he don't want no shot. more of that yeah. Man, he punched that nigga in his body. It was over. And then, yeah. it, my man, then his like boy ran him. up and said, bro, watch out. Come on. And the Bouncer knocked his right out. Pat right in the face. And he ain't coming from back here. He's Still coming from... The car crash. Yeah, car crash. <laughs> yeah. Right. I don't even like to know that because we don't even be knowing I right, do so that. We got off track. They be thinking I'm a bear, bear swing. Let me let me ask you this. Okay. Man. Your first album, though, City of Bosses, right? Yes. Man, well, tell me the, the, the process about that and the dedication you put in because that bitch, I still listen to that motherfucker to this day. Everybody say that was the best album at that time. For sure. For you sure. know, even even Vez told me I had 2016 on lock. Yeah, that was and crazy. 17. Yeah, 17 too. Yeah, they tried to sign me in 17. Mm. But it wasn't like they was trying to sign me. I, it was the hype, and it was also, shout out to Jay Smith. My manager was putting a lot of stuff together. That's my cousin for real, you know what I'm saying? That's our people. But he really was putting it together. Like, he had lines with Empire before Empire was popping. Yeah. And I'm so mother. And slow, I'm dog. Yeah, because I always been a boss, and I ain't ever been broke for yeah. real. I always got my own money. Yeah. I always had a nice amount of money. I ain't gonna get on this and incriminate myself because I'm all legal, baby. Right. You know, yeah, but been legal, baby. yeah. But I always had myself together, and I always wanted to be my own boss. I always been my own boss. I ain't ever worked for a motherfucker but myself my whole life. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it was just like. I'm thinking everybody was out to get me. I'm like, not him. Years. Not 17 him. Yeah, 17. Because in the end of 16 and 17, that's when they was really trying to sign me. This one, I'm getting a lot of hate from Like, niggas is clout chasing, trying to play with me on the internet, knowing I'm like that, but clout chasing and all type of shit around this time. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then they really wanted me to take the deal that they was giving me because they said I'm, I'm a risk. Mm. Because, you know... They wanted me, and then I did that Chicago uh, when I fell out with Dog when he mm -hmm. came to the city, and he called himself trying to pull up in the hood. So they was just like, "You high risk, motherfucker. You gotta take this motherfucking 120." I'm you glad she saying? didn't take that deal though. Yeah, for real for real. They tried to really give me seven thousand too. I appreciate that. How you, how you end up uh, how you end up linking up with MCD? Uh, MCD was uh, me and Lou really created ourselves. Uh, Lou came up with the MCD because he always be drinking. And it was like, I was about to drop the Mac Ave Entertainment at first. Mm -hmm. And Lou like, bro, we together every day. We brothers, man. He like, let's just do this MCD together and blow this up. This gonna be big. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm saying to myself, the first couple days, like, no. Nah. Because you know, you know how brothers is. Yeah. You want to do your own thing. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But... Sticking together is always the best route, bro. That's how the Chaldeans do it and, you know, the Arabs do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, our brotherhood is the best, man. Yeah, if black sure. people can learn that and stop being jealous and making up excuses to go against each other, we'll get so far. Stop doing backstabbing to each mm -hmm. other. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, you know, just a lot. Especially like, right now. You got to gotta have morals. Like, if I fuck with you, I ain't looking at your girl in no sexual way. That's my sister. Right, for sure. I ain't looking. That that sure. can be out doing something. Now I catch her. I'm gonna tell on her. You hear <laughs> right. me? That's the only time I'm snitching. Right, right. But uh, she can't. She can't catch me out and be trying to suck on my dick. And I'm a letter because there's too many out here. Yeah, we ain't doing I got I, I got the utmost respect for this, man. And I feel like that's that's one of the main things too. Like if you don't if you would do that, you don't respect me anyway. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. In a lot of ways, you feel me? You know, I ain't talking about the. Left in the past, I'm talking about the with. I ain't talking about the, the left in the past. Now, if this baby mama in the past, right? Then I mean, that's different. Yeah, because yeah, niggas be feeling yeah. still about just the old in the past. But even that, better. even certain situations in that, I'm not. If that was your thing like that, you get what I'm saying. And y'all was like that. Mm -mm, hell no. Like certain motherfuckers, I'm looking at you like sis. But you always sis. Yeah. You forever my sis. You get what I'm saying. You, I'll I'm kick too. you up. I'll kick you up your. You get with another. You still sus. Right, for sure. You ain't ever. You ain't. Right. Yeah. Uh. -uh you ain't getting revenge on my off me. But right, uh, once that relationship is there, is there? It's yeah. Locked in for life, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Unless you do some. But you said back to the yeah yeah. So you said back to the MCD. Yeah. So no, no, the city of bosses. The city of bosses. Okay. I don't cause that you like you put a lot of 
But I'm a, 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 yeah, I'm a finish that with the MCD. Cause okay. it all, it all in line. So I already done put my album together, the city of bosses and Lou doing the MCD just as a hashtag. We ain't really taking it all the way serious at this time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I and, and we was doing that in the members only. You feel me? So when he told me, yeah, bro, we need to run with this MCD and turn it up, bro. It's going to be ours anyway. You feel me? And I thought about it a couple of days. Like I said, I want to do my own thing. This bro and this little bro this is my baby. You feel me? Motherfucking gangster. He love bro, but on, on the money, we always got that nigga the grown man way. Fully grown. You know what I'm saying? He a couple of granddads the way he'd get to the paper the same way with me. You feel me? But uh, I, I ended up doing this taking it serious so it was really Mac Ave MCD when you see the the label yeah that it was like yeah uh, because was, I always he felt was like I, I was feeling like I always felt like MCD is bro for real you get what I'm saying I always felt like that because he asked me to be a part of it before he even made it big you get what I'm saying like let's blow this up but my album City of Bosses it turned MCD all the way up. I ain't really realized, but it turned us all the way up. Yeah, for you sure. You get what I'm saying? Because everywhere, bro, it's it's rappers right now I see on the internet with millions and millions of views. I do not hear their music in the city. I heard my music everywhere in the city. 2016, I just be riding by, just playing my music, riding by, grimming all in the car, but I got tents, <laughs> and they listening to my music. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> It was crazy, bro. Like, yeah, I for definitely, real. I definitely was banging it. And, and yeah. I couldn't even believe it because it was so on the quiet side of things. You feel mm -hmm. me? You just popped out with an album. I'm like, what the Yeah. I said, Damn, yeah. I, I did and that in a tattoo shop. Back like that huh. motherfucker was. Yeah, because I was yeah. coming through the tattoo shop. I yeah. was seeing the and let me tell studio. You, and and, and I'm going to tell oh, you what okay. else made me take rapping serious. Okay. Me and Lou was going out to a lot of sh shows and like that, you get what I'm saying? We doing shows. Nah, these is Lou shows. So right. Lou is getting booked for these shows, right? This a year straight we doing it. <laughs> Lou getting booked for the show. So he'll be throwing money and I'm throwing money, but he throwing his show money and I'm throwing my pro money. Right. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So this how I end up spending a whole, 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 whole lot of money in a strip club. You know what I'm saying? And one day I realized, like, I had been realized, but I think it's probably like we done been doing this probably like damn near a year. We did the East versus West. Now we fucked that bitch up. I threw 10,000. Lou threw 10,000. We went crazy in that bitch. I'm, I threw 9,000 IRS, you know, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> I threw 9,000. Uh, Nine thousand two. Uh, right, right, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but yeah. you were still doing tattoos at this time, though, no wasn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I was still, I was still doing the tattoos at this time. So I'm running my shop, but I ain't got time to really motherfucking mm -hmm. tattoo. So I already had artists up there, two artists. But my brother really held it down. Shout out to Doe. Doe was up there doing yeah, his thing. For sure. You get what I'm saying? Sins of a hustle on Instagram. Follow him. Go get some of them tattoos and oh, things so like that. He's still tattooing. Yeah, he's still tattooing. I'm about to go see him. Mm -hmm. So you would never pick up the, the tattoo gun again? I picked that bitch up a month ago and did a whole sleeve. Did you? Yeah, it was on yeah. a family member, though. But you know, right, I did. So you never lose that. What? I did that bitch <laughs> like Ink Masters. <laughs> that bitch like Ink Masters right now. Whole arm cold as hell. Yeah, so give me... Give me uh, let me see. Give me your top five in the city artists. Top five in the city? Yeah, without throwing yourself in there. Okay. We don't want to be biased, you feel me? Okay. Me, 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 me. <laughs> I, did that, I did that on my Say Cheese interview. Top five Detroit rappers all the time. Damn. Dead or alive? Me? Me, 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 me? The f***? Yeah, oh, and shout out to me. <laughs> Let me stop playing and stop stop bullshit, man. I'm going to get props where props is due. Right. It's hard for me to say my top five because I like a lot of artists in my city music. It's hard. But yeah, because it's a lot I, of I new niggas coming I don't even lie, and it's a lot of new blood coming and all that. <clears throat> but is, is we going with dead 
Staying alive. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> yep. yeah. Okay. Okay. See, look, if I'm going to keep it real. Yeah, I got to keep it real. Okay. Bless you. Yeah. <laughs> real Top five in the right. city. In the city. So, do this count kind of like industry, like Eminem and all that? Whoever from the city, man. Okay. Industry. Because most of now is in industry. Okay, man. look. I'm going to do this just because. <laughs> I'm going to do this just because. You hear me? I'm going to be different. M. <laughs> We're going to put I mean, M there. We're going to put M and them in that. Don't you get what I'm saying? Yeah. E even though I ain't with the f***ing over your mama and all that type of My mama was gone mm. when I was younger. So when I used to hear him tripping like that, I used to be like, what the f*** is this white boy on? <laughs> so you off, but, yeah, he used to throw me off. But see, I went to Mushroom Mountain. You know that right yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. That's with him and D12, that was my. Yeah, well, I am. I am, was, uh, I am whatever you say I am. Superman. I like the demo. Superman. Super but oh, why you gotta hate, man? That's my favorite song. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> I was about to say, but I can't be your Superman. Yeah, Warm me yeah, over. You hear? Me? Yeah, listen, this is me. I tell these. I tell women all this time, all the time, because you know I know I'm a charming gentleman, and see all big ass ain't got it like I got. It. I really got it out here. I be. I'm like you know when he's pointing. Stars, I really get off on these. Because look, I didn't used to know this. And to the women, you know, I was, I was out here being a little. Oh, and the women was just like, you know, they never came before. I heard that a lot. And mm. then, you know, then one told me I'm a pumper. And then um, told me I'm, I, I'm Mr. Marcus. I just, uh, and this was from a little star. So I was just feeling, you know, good about that type of feeling. Yeah, so, yeah. so, so, uh, because sometimes, you know, like Janae Aiko said, on that Lion King. Okay, so you just go over home breaking girls' heart just to see <laughs> <on> this side. <laughs> <laughs> well, basically, fucking all these uh, just to feed your pride. Right. You yeah. know, so get hurt too. And sometimes you'll be thinking something wrong with you, and women don't believe this. And a go out here and get fucking all those. Like, damn, like, you ain't treat me how you supposed to treat me. Mm -hmm. So do I gotta go out here and make sure something ain't wrong with me? And then you get the these other and they showing you like yeah. and they in love yeah. they call it acting crazy and you like bitch look I can't do all that I'm in and out and things like that you get what I'm saying but they was trying to you know talk to a nigga like that and I'd just be like listen baby have you ever heard I can't be your superman man I said look you don't want that neither do I I don't want to trip when I see you with guys right right <laughs> yeah <laughs> But so what? That's as far as the party goes. Right. You get what I'm saying? For real, because it be real. Shit. Motherfuckers be want to be in a relationship with you when they see how good you is being their friend. But you will be being their friend, being good because you don't care what th this lady doing. Right. You feel me? I mean, yeah. I ain't trying to say like you just a piece of. You no, know, you are my friend, and we friends like how you would be friends with your homeboy on a good relationship tip. Right. But at the same time, I mean no. Because you know it ain't the all the way with your homeboy. I'm talking about like the conversation, yeah, 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 yeah. right? Like I ain't just coming for the piece of you, my dog, for I fuck with you. But at the same time, I you you not mine. So once I put that stamp on you and I gotta claim you, now whatever you do rolls back on me, and it's created this ourselves because that really ain't the truth. It, it shouldn't be if a, a woman do something and she got a that. Lame. No, that mm -hmm. that lady is lame. She's right. lame. Right. You get what I'm saying? It shouldn't be that the, the guy is lame because his 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 mm -hmm. got. You get right, what I'm saying? Right, for sure. right. It shouldn't be that he's lame for that. You know what I'm do what she gonna do. Yeah, she gonna do what she gonna do. But see, it's a lot with that. That's on another subject. You get what I'm saying? Right. Because right. <laughs> I could really That's get down on that. Like. The reason why the statistics is so high that all men are dog and all men cheat because women are selfless people and they gonna talk about when they get cheated on. A nigga get cheated on, he feel he, less he than a man. He right. feel less than a man. He ain't gonna even tell his man a lot of times that my bitch cheated on me, bro. Right. He gonna hope a motherfucker don't find out about it because that make him feel less than a man because he know how he look at it if that shit happened because the way we been programmed. But bro, ain't nothing wrong. It happened to the best of the man. This shit happened to the best. So it ain't what you think it's it is, but niggas don't post it. Blow their brains out. Uh, but that's what I'm saying because they don't know that they don't know a thousand going through it. They don't know a thousand going through it, bro.
You hear me? Yeah. They don't know that a lot of went through it, bro. Because if they knew that, then it'd be like if all, if all these dogs were all these cats then. Right. You get what I'm saying? Because yeah. the difference between a dog and a cat is that you're going to see a dog and if a dog do something, when he walk in that house, he going to walk up to you and when you walk in after he don't your house up and he going to give you that look like, baby, I fucked up. Yeah, I know I'm sure. sorry, yeah. man. Let me, let, let me uh, lick your feet. What I got to do, I'm sorry. Yeah. So the same way with, with nigga know he fucked up, he really be sincere for, and hurt about that. What the a cat going to do? A, 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 <laughs> what? That <laughs> cat? That cat no more. And knock a vase down to your face, <laughs> right? And, and look run, at to, you. and run to the room and peek out the door, and you looking at that, and he looking at you like I ain't do that, right? For sure. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, and you ain't never seen like. cats neither. Never. Nah. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? You might hear him. Yeah, you might hear him, but you ain't gonna see him. You ain't gonna see him. So you know, so it just be like I'm gonna just say, I'm gonna just say this. It's just like <laughs> to, to me, <laughs> women be yeah, more, women be more, women, women be more motherfucking heartless. Than men on a lot of shit, you get what I'm saying, sure. and it just seemed like all men want to do is fuck, and they all dogs because we do. We want to stick our dick in something because y'all are feminine and we are gorillas out here. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying, but I ain't about to stick in anything. I got some morals. Some of these niggas don't, but I do. You know, I ain't gonna do all that. But <laughs> I'm just saying that God created us equal. And it ain't what you think it is. Right. You get what I'm saying, and that's where I come at when I when I'm saying about the. You know when they you you hit them and you know you trying to be their friend they trying to be your girl but it'd be like you're not about to be my girl and have me looking crazy out here because sure. the first thing you gonna do after you get to doing the cheat on me and shit, mm-hmm. you gonna be talking about you are so insecure mm-hmm. but when we first started talking you always was saying oh, oh that was one of your just called <laughs> we on the phone right, right, right. we on the right. phone my phone click I click over oh, that's my brother right quick. Oh, that was one of your little bitches. He, so, bitch, you start the insecure traits in the relationship. Most of y'all do. And so when I be talking to a, a, a young lady, a beautiful young lady, as I do, I don't care how cold of an Insta, Instagram model she is, they all do it. And I, cut, they, I cut right into their ass when they do it. I'm like, don't be doing that insecure shit. I say, because as soon as I get to doing something like that, you will be saying I'm insecure. Stop Thanks. using reverse, reverse psychology on Mm. Stop doing that. I'm well seasoned. Some women gonna deal with it when they realize how seasoned I am, and the other women they gonna just be like, I must bag up. Then they always come back. Mm. You get what I'm saying? They mm. bag up for a minute, like I ain't about to get this. No, p-. then come back and give me some. P-. Man, when you, but you would have been better to just do it the first time. You get what I'm right. saying? Instead of going through all the extra. Yeah. Now you, you just that's, made that, yourself that, that's, the, that's that after they knock the vase yeah. over, they run. That's yeah. that part of Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they'll throw away that diamond and pick up a rock. Mm-hmm. Try to come back and think the diamond gonna still be on the ground. Mm-hmm. So, so a lot of times I do what women do too. I just hold ass. So oh, you came back. <laughs> yeah, you get what I'm saying. So it hurt saying. me too. It hurt too. Cause yeah. some of them I still be want to hit. Cause I got that. It's the it's the man in me. Yeah, you but at the same time, <laughs> but at the same time, I gotta hold it down for the fellas. I gotta hold it down for the fellas, and I gotta say, um, baby, I'm straight on that. Mm-hmm. You tried to play with me too much. You get what I'm saying? Well, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to get that on my chest. Artists, man. You know, you can name three if you want. You ain't got to go fast. What, uh, artists? Top artists in the city. You Damn, said I just said, said that. I just said that. Okay, look. Okay, I'm, I'm going to say M. Uh, this is really easy for me, bro. You know, if I'm going to really be real, you get what I'm saying about that's really going I don't give a who get offended for real so I'm gonna just say M I'm gonna give it to M uh, as a as a hip hop artist right you get what I'm saying as right. a lyricist yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it can't be no other way the streets I mean you know the streets you know I gotta go with my brother you feel me I'm gonna pick Icewear Vez yeah. Bla- mm-hmm. Blade uh, Big Hurt which I should have picked first. Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. Big Hurt, Eminem. Big Hurt, one of the coldest too. Man. I swear, Peasy. Uh, man, man, dog. I just named all of them, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. For I named sure. five. For sure. Big Hurt. So M, I swear, if you Peasy. could go, okay, Babyface Ray. Right. That's yeah, that boy Damn, I should have right put Ray at my. Uh, yeah, Ray 
the second too. That's fine. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's fine. But, but see, you I can got still go on. Yeah, yeah, I, I want to say I still want to keep going. Keep going. No, I ain't. <laughs> but Big Sean, Big Sean, I give Big Sean some love, man. Yeah, you know? for sure, for sure. I'm different, man. It's a lot of good artists in our city. You get what I'm saying? It's a lot of good artists in our city. Yeah, I mean, a lot of young too. They come. But I like Doug T and Sada too. I like them too. Right. I right. like their music. You know, just in case you feel some type of way, like, hey, he ain't say me. Yeah, yeah. Because you know these. Be feeling some type of way. So they watch. You don't you don't believe it? Watching me, everything I'm talking about. Believe that. Mm -hmm. I mean, but these Your are favorite rappers. Really cold. You feel me? Yeah. They they paved their way through the city. Yeah, so they paved their way. You gotta give they roses. You feel yep, me? Yep, yep. And that's I, GT. Come on now. Yeah, GT. That's come my on guy. Now. Yeah. Lil P. D Nice. If y'all don't know who Lil P is and D Nice, that's Team I, East Side. I'm just saying for the people that yeah, I'm saying yeah, this yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Sure. that's Team East Side. You know, mm -hmm. damn hard. There's a lot of motherfuckers hard. You keep going. Shit. Baby money. Shit. I could have put him in the top five right now. My little bitch getting off. But you know, you, gotta you got to put that put work in. Baby money, yeah. Yep. My little crib. J Lo, uh, uh, cousin. So, you got a, uh, a clothing line, right? Yeah. Detroit tell always wins. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, tell me how, how you came up, you know, started that one. Okay, I supposed to drop this clothing line three years ago. I supposed to drop this clothing line three yeah, years ago. Yeah, be like that, man. Take some inspiration, you feel yeah, me? I, yeah. No, it was just me. I'm like, you know, I, I did the tattoos. I'm, I'm an artist in both ways. Mm -hmm. I know how to draw. So it was just really coming up with the, the, the right. logo. Right, right. I wanted the logo a certain way. And I ain't want to just copy wealthy. I like the wealth, wealthy design, mm -hmm. but I ain't want to just come with something all across the shirt. You get what I'm saying? Unless it would have been cursive or something like that. I'm right. gonna do I'ma do another I'ma do a second set and it's gonna be like for the women and the men and it's gonna be the jogging suits, but it's gonna be the Detroit always win the cursive. Sweet as hell. You know what I'm saying? All of all the come with my signature. So I was just really doing corona, I was sitting down, I was coming up with business plans because I I mean, you know Yeah, that's yeah, yeah it was, sat all of us yeah, down. Yeah, if you ain't thinking to do during that time. Man, I had to slow to the mud. I, I, I actually, I was really blessed around that time. A lot of money, you feel me, yeah. was floating around the city. And if it's money out here, I ain't got to do this no scams to get it. Too, I, I ain't got to do no scams to get it, but if it's out here, I'm going to get it. Yeah, I was sure. up in bands. I up 20 bands. to be like, oh, you got that mother <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm like, mother I got, I got new stacks, bitch. You better keep mm. looking because my fans know they go on my Instagram for Seven years ago, up in the same type of when everybody was broke. Mm -hmm. When sure. your favorite rappers was lying in they song. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? I and don't take no I don't know who the favorite rappers is. Don't take stop jumping to conclusions. And you had a good mm -hmm. run on yeah. it, if I should say so myself. Yeah. You know, I've, been ball, I've been balling a long time. You know better than a lot I'm of balling. Ball. I was balling at a young age, blue, you for know. Sure. For sure. He was balling seventeen, eighteen. I'm I, I ain't gonna talk I had some at 18. Mm -hmm. Just know I was rich at 18 for, for a couple months. I was <laughs> for a couple months. Yeah. Blew that. Touched the, touch the Mac F. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and not this. I'm talking to him. <laughs> so, uh, back, I want to go back to that bully because you is a bully. Uh -huh. And every f movie you play in, you a damn bully, man. See, I'm going to tell you, though. It's that See, was too a lot of people be on camera. But I have beat up a lot of people. Man, what about these But it be self-defense. Like? You know what I'm saying? And the movie. <laughs> yeah, then the movies. Yeah. Then the movies, right? Like they be trying to act like you know, they try to act like I'm a straight gangster. They try to I I okay. I No, but that's I if put a motherfucker who know this and that's really, really him. It fits you. Yeah. It's him. I really I was really, acting I, like him in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah I really did it myself. But yeah. I'd be like, man, it's kind of true. That's him. And they don't even realize that. <laughs> see, sure. because I really got that good heart at the same time where I want to see everybody win. Motherfuckers don't even be realizing, bro. They'll end up, it'll be a lot of with, like I'll fuck them up. Sometimes it'll be, if it ain't right then and there, it'll be like they was fucking with me, egging it on. Yeah. And then I had to terrorize their life for the rest of their life until they out there. Yeah, it's all good. You can leave that in there for real. We got
gangsters. Yeah, for sure. You in the trenches. You know, yeah, you right about that, too. It's that trench, baby. So, um... Yeah, man, back to the movies, though, the movies, man. Yeah. Uh, you, is, you, you is a good actor, They man. say Every I'm a good, actor. a good actor, man. You know what, dog? I think you should keep that going, man. Uh, the guy, shout out to Maniac, too, because Maniac, a motherfucker, right? He put you in your first movie, didn't he? No, not my first movie. That was, like, my third movie. But Maniac, a solid We supposed to did a movie with Lorenz Tate. All he wanted was 2500 to come do the movie. Hey, you hold know what up. I'm just before he Did just popped me yeah, yeah. I just I said, man, why the yeah. ain't we yeah. be so motherfucking yeah. big off that movie? And it, and we was owning that bitch. Me and Loke and all of us was putting gonna put the money up on it. We already had started the production and everything. But Maniac, right? He he the one told me that uh what he tell me, he said, You the best actor in the uh, city out all these be so believable. Mm -hmm. I say I'm, I be being myself. You know what I'm saying? Right, for sure. You know, so one like oh, the one that posted been for uh, Kwame, King of the City. Yeah. It didn't never come out, but that bitch was lit for real. I was in the uh, motherfucking condo, smack up, doing powder, all type of shit. <laughs> what, what I was tripping in that bitch. I was like, they got me tripping. What happened? Like, they, what? they had me up. I was killing all. So I was did you shoot? You shot? We somebody? shot a lot of you, all that shit. I just said happened. I done smoked. In cars. So why you uh what happened with the movie? Like, uh, it just didn't come out, man. Uh, some shit happened between him and J Lo. Rest in peace, J Lo. My big homie, Big Crip. I love yeah, that. Yeah, nigga. Lo, man. Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace. Uh, the something had happened with them. Say, this bitch finna, this bitch finna be this, cause it was previews of it. Mm. It was showing previews. Still on YouTube. Yeah, man. I'm like this called. Uh, and it was called City of Bosses, like an album. My yeah. album had was City mm. of Bosses, and they that's what inspired them. You get what I'm saying? And they named the movie that. But uh yeah, right. so, Maniac so solid. Maniac like six three, six four, big straight gorilla, monster. Now look, he tell this young lady, you know, this this chick little Instagram model, he say, You know you uh know Danny always win like that. And she just told me this two days ago. Yeah, two days ago when I was at the party. I was at my little uh, walkthrough and things like that, you know, <laughs> picking up that back end. Right, but And she was like, you know Maniac? I'm like, yeah. She was like, you know, he said, you know Danny always win? She was like, yeah, I be talking to him, you know, here and there. Right. He said, I saw him comment on your, your page, you feel me? On some of your music. She, you know, people send me that, like, you know, come support me, right, show me right. some love. I went on there and showed her some love. And he was like, man, if you was to talk to him, that's the n to talk to. That is a monster. Right. He said, I saw that nigga knock his ass out and throw the n up in, and, and throw his homeboy up in the air, man. He said, that, that motherfucker <laughs> is an alien. I'm 6'4 and I shoot him. If he ran up on me, I had to shoot him. No, I wish that's my n but if he if he was trying to do me harm, he real 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 strong. This is what he tell it. She tell the old girl like he not what you think he is. Like motherfucker, he didn't been chilling for years now. Motherfucker would just think he a fat boy. That motherfucker athletic and he strong as hell. And this is what he told her. And it's so crazy. It's so crazy, man. You know, I remember back in the day, man. I remember video. I seen you. I was left like this. Like I'm like yeah, I've been. Two, yeah. 225 one hand like know this cuz just told me earlier like man oh you have an interview with daddy man that's my I went to school with daddy man he was like I seen that that he always lift lift his over his head in school <laughs> you know oh yeah saying? well that was for money then <laughs> That was for money. I used to bench press nigga, you two fifty or something like that. Yeah. Like y'all probably would have been in I've been bench pressing in school <laughs> for some money. Like bet fifty <laughs> See, but I'm talking about I could though, not that I would've. No, I don't think I'm sad that you bitch press yeah, for getting you fifty. You feel me? <laughs> Cause you ain't about to lose fifty. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, Chef, you always win. <laughs> Damn it, for real. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, so do you think you're gonna continue to act? Like, is you into that more than the music? <sighs> no, nah, I'm into the music more than than the acting, but. I'd rather do the acting because I'm really, I'm, I'm a homebody. I don't like being around a lot of people. Uh, I'm cool on social media, but I ain't really social. Mm -hmm. When I said that shit on that East versus West, I mean East to West song. 
Yeah, I feel you on that, man. Cause I, you know I'm the same way, man. Mm -hmm. I, think I love this shit, but I don't like the, you know, all that shit. You feel me? I would, I'm like, I'm like Dolph, man. I be by myself, man. You feel me? Me too. Be by my damn self. Yep. Me, me and uh, 21 of my friends. <laughs> so keep that motherfucker. Yeah, tw 27 of my friends, I mean. So what you working on right now, as far as music? Uh, I got so much music that I'm just dropping right now from 2017. You I still got, in the archives? Yeah, I'm still in the archives. I got music that I ain't dropped from 16, bro. Like yeah. when I was in, in, in my peak to my when I first really set the streets on fire, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I done dropped a couple years after I been out. And my like, you done got so sweet, I'm like, bitch, I dropped this shit. <laughs> this was the next day after, bitch, I'm the chosen one. Right. With me and Vez. I'm the chosen one. <laughs> so you still picking up the vault. Yeah, yeah, but I also be working like a motherfucker and just having so much of it just put up. Like, I'm gonna let y'all hear a little bit. This on some gilly, man, this is right. crazy. Right, right. Mm. This exclusive right here, let me see. Oh, yeah. Who's that on the track? Y'all gonna have to cut this out. They ain't gonna be able to hear it all. That's So what, what, that's new, right? Mm. Payroll on here, too. Produced by Hellerman. That's it right there. Thank you. I appreciate that, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been waiting on you. You feel me? Oh, it's on the floor. And this one right here. I remember you used to send me songs like that. Like, this is it. Man, I, know you, I know you wouldn't, but a lot of niggas be taking my shit and trying to post it. I know that. No, I wouldn't. Let's go to Sun Ice Mike. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you on that, man. You, uh, man. That's the way, I mean, it sound the same, but it sound different, dude. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The other, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, boy, you, you back, yeah. man. Yeah. Back. I ain't never left, though. I mean, I you been behind the scenes. Gator, Gatorade yeah. break, man. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, but I always still held it down for my fans. They just got to go to my YouTube page. Mm -hmm. When they go to my YouTube page and then they click on videos, they'll see all the videos I've been dropping. Like, I really ain't. Go nowhere. I just stopped dropping on for show mag, uh, hip hop lab, and then my bro, shout out to Lando Bando and Joseph McFasher. Right, shout you out know to what I'm them boys. Hey, so tell me this, cuz. I just gotta drop on my platform and get my shit popping. You got, uh, what, YouTube? Yeah, I got my own YouTube. I, well, I got like 20 videos on there. Well, how should the people, uh, go you know? get to them? Uh, Danny always win. Oh, every so, time. Yeah, when you type Danny always, <laughs> when you type Danny always win, you gon' you gonna get that motherfucking uh newest videos. You're gonna see like in the last couple months to the last year, you click on that, then you go to the page. You could go from the page right there, click on the page. Yeah, subscribe. Yeah, and subscribe. Yeah. Click subscribe like and like yeah, everything. Like everything on that motherfucker. You ain't even gotta listen to it, just like it. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me like this. that. What what hold the most weight? Loyalty, fear, or love? Uh, fear. Fear. You want me to yeah, yeah, elaborate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always say this, and it's crazy you said that. I say I love love, I respect loyalty, and I kill fear. For sure. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Anything trying to scare me or, or think it's crazy, I'm not the one. <laughs> you going to get your that's hurt. I'm like a spike ball. It's gonna blow up and it's gonna splash all on. Right, you. right. It's gonna it's gonna kamikaze. Yeah. We both might be out of there, but right. it ain't gonna go how you think it's gonna go. You get what I'm saying? That's not even being tough. That's just being a man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for you sure. You know what I'm saying? Really, I I don't feel that's being tough. I feel like that's doing what I gotta do. Right. You know, but people respect. And the only reason I know this, right? Cause I'm a tough guy, and I done came around people that. Knew I was tough and always heard about me. I'm like a legend to them in the streets. You know what I'm saying? That one. Yeah, no, PZ said he used to hear about me in middle school. Damn. He's like, I always heard about you, big bro. You been a legend. You get what I'm saying? Like, 
Yeah. Yeah, but I was getting money too. Yeah, I yeah. mean, but know, I want no pressure. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, most but, don't they? I I, I I come around people with love and give them nothing but unconditional love, and they just don't respect that. They just want you to be an animal. Right. You get what I'm saying? When you acting all out of character and you doing, even though I really do that type of, I can really get like that. We want to. I don't want to be like that, so I'd rather treat people how I would want them to treat me just to keep peace because all that shit is putting more stress on your body. You can live through all that and then the stress from the damage right there, that don't fuck you up. That'll kill you by itself. Pressure bus pipes, what it's going to do to flesh and bones? Right, for sure. So I just come around with love, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I notice that be showing them that they scared of more love than they showing me. Right. And I'd be like, bitch, I'm tougher than this. He couldn't do to you if if you was treating me right. Yeah. You but you you know I'm like okay well I guess you feel like the streets feel like okay the streets <laughs> terrified and all right whatever and it never fails it always I prove my point I be like see and that something happened to a motherfucker not even get killed just motherfuckers just uh, it just exposed that the motherfucker ain't like you thought a motherfucker was you know mm -hmm. and phew, it'd be crazy but. People respect fear more than anything. You know, they don't care about loyalty and, and love because yeah, yeah. that's what I'm about, loyalty and love. Right. I ain't got my uh, FLR chain on, but that's the name of my label. You know what I'm saying? What's Forever Lord Records. Forever Lord Records? Yeah. You ain't got no artists. Yeah, I got a few artists, but right now I'm just letting them do their thing. You know what I'm saying? And I don't even want to talk about it because I got to have it where motherfuckers, are we all on the same According to everybody listening, because you have your people out here, and when you when you have people out here and you you know you snap them, they'll be out here doing crazy. <laughs> come back on you, <laughs> right. you get what I'm saying? Right. It'll come back on right. you. Right, right. Hell yeah! So I gotta get my, get my guys all the way focused. You know, focus, you get what I'm saying? But it's a lot of people that I'm trying to help. You get what I'm saying? So is you trying to go towards the like the younger? Generation. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to help the young younger. Rappers. I'm yeah. trying to help the younger, the old, whoever I can help. Brandon, especially mm -hmm. some of these young, because I know you would be a good mentor yeah. for them too. You feel me? I ain't gonna have. I, I ain't gonna have no young. Since you said that, we are gonna hit on that, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, come on. I always say this. When they be like, man, you got that nigga around here, ain't even like that. I be like, like what? Cause I'm the motherfucker animal right. you get what I'm saying yeah. why do I gotta have a motherfucker around me to use him to, to go waste his life you get what I'm saying if something happen when we together and it go down yeah right there yeah it didn't just happen but I ain't about to just send these little yeah. throw away their life yeah. that's crash, selfish as hell crash, you feel me that's yeah. selfish and that's what be going on a lot of these guys you know they geek these little guys up thinking they gonna get everything they got and this the way to get it being mm -hmm. a, a dirty out here in the beast and a lot of it ain't even worth when you think about it, a lot of it don't even be worth hurting the motherfucker over bro you get what I'm saying a lot of it's a lot of it worth hurting the motherfucker over though. don't get me wrong yeah, cause I'm sure. one of the motherfuckers that be some the motherfuckers think they done I'll be like bitch I step I on you like a roach yeah I, I still do. got some that I yeah. you know <laughs> yeah. step on yeah. for sure yes but you know I ain't on that type of time Hell you know what I'm no. saying but don't fuck with me though that's Period. how I, yeah don't fuck with me man Period. Just leave me alone. Leave That's me. how I am. I ain't got no beef with no niggas. You get what I'm saying? I ain't got no beef with no niggas. So, just stay the fuck out of my way and I'm going to stay out yours if you don't like me. I yeah, damn sure don't like you, but I ain't true. a mentor for the young though. Yeah. You yeah. always speak positive, you feel me? Yeah. About yeah. And I, I, ain't really, I ain't never seen you speak negative, period. Yeah, bro. I, I, I always try to be only. like that, bro. But see... You know, some niggas take your kindness for weakness and your smiles for sweet. But you don't even know, man. There's a lot of motherfuckers always smiling. They going through hell. Like, I done been smiling. And shit, I ain't even want to be here no more. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, niggas be thinking like, no nigga don't scare me. Nigga. I done wanted to take myself out. <laughs> How you going to scare me? Right. I done been through so much. Nigga. My mama was murdered when I was seven. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? I done been through way more than that, though. Right. You get what I'm saying? And on today. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I done been in them modes. Like, I'm just tired of being here. And that ain't a good way to be thinking. And if a nigga take they self like out, that, and if a nigga take they self out, you a weak nigga. I'm going to tell you sure, that right oh, now. Yeah, I always say that's some weak. That's yeah. some weak 
But every nigga said that also done been in that situation. Don't let them ever fool you. Yeah, for sure. They done been in that situation where they tired of you. I look the other way around. It's like, you too goddamn strong if you can do that. Yeah, yeah. you too. That, that's what I feel like. Yeah. Because you already know, bro. When <laughs> niggas be going through their when they was younger, you would be like, I'm going to do it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I can't yeah, do yeah, this. Yeah, 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 I can't yeah. do this. Yeah. Y'all motherfuckers know y'all done that shit. Motherfucker done had you feeling like the world against you. You get what I'm saying? You a kid. Yeah. You a kid. Yeah. You like, they don't love yeah. me. You get what I'm saying? Look, I done did that. I went I went from that. See, I said this on the song, I never dropped. I say my uncle sold all his life. The police kicked my grandma door in. I was folding my packs at 10, 13, caught the max. Didn't want to be a street, just some shit I was born in. Right. Hard head, make a soft behind. Look, take my advice. See Die for this level of life. No Illuminati sacrifice. I'm still ball in the afterlife because I took a chance like a pack of dice. You know what I'm saying? I don't pray to you a God that's white. Him. But it don't make me an antichrist. Been betrayed by the ones I love. That'll take away your appetite. It's genocide for the black man. Keep it real with your brother. Turn the cheek for the white man. But we killing each other. Man. R.P. Nipsey Hussle. We all came for the struggle. Do all the good in your hood. And they still don't love you. Man. Lost my mama at seven. And a Still stressing, definition of depression. Ever since I had a lesson, if I ever told I love you, my loyalty never questioned. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, this is real. Sh but look, you hear what I said? Yeah, Just that was love and affection, but it turned to aggression. So I remember, and it's crazy because it's just like I had an epiphany while I'm sitting here talking to y'all, yeah. and it just came to me like that. Like I remember when it went from like, oh, they don't love me, and I should just kill myself. You know, when you little, how be to I remember by the time I was 14 I wasn't 14 I was 13 leaving out the house like I ain't gonna kill myself I'm gonna kill somebody <laughs> yeah. you hear me the first play with right, me right, sure. walking up the street the first nigga play with you was on the floor but you I get what I'm saying we all grew up yeah angry. yeah we did up. and Just it turned to environment. turned to aggression yeah and I always and used depression. to watch yeah and depression yeah. I said that I just put all that shit in. You, you heard it? Yeah, for sure. But me watching them motherfucking, and see, this fucked me up a lot, too. Me watching them racist motherfucking shows, seeing how they did black men. Yeah. I used to be in that about to fucking have a heart attack when I was a kid. <laughs> and they would have had to kill me. <laughs> well, they would have had to kill me. I see that. Just going crazy. Like, they would went crazy. I'm like, get them. A kid, but then... My grandma like, yeah, and then what your family was going to do? What your kids right. was going to do? Because right. nah, they even killed your ass. You done got off and killed this one. Nah, all y'all fucked up. And I'm still like, grandma, we all was going to have to die together. Yeah, <laughs> I can't yeah. go. I'm like, I can't let them just do me like that. And that right there made me start fucking my own people up. Because my own people would try to play with you like that. Your own people, these black black people. That's how I be a lot of black and black. And be like the white man. Bitch, back in the slavery, I'm going to let did me like that. I ain't know mm. why you think you're going to be able to do this to me now. Hell no. I ain't let nobody play with me like that. And see, I ain't believe it that I was like that. You learn yourself the more and more you, you grow. You get what I'm saying? And my grandma used to say when I was like uh, I was like seven or eight they are like, why his nose always sweating? Man. And my grandma was like, because he don't take evil. And see, I, nah, I heard I even, I heard even once like I got that. older. Like I heard even once I got older. And I said, I can't be evil because I love motherfuckers for real. I don't be yeah. one motherfuckers to really die. Yeah. I, when motherfuckers be dying, I be I put myself in, this, in their shoes like, damn, that could be me. And right there, as soon as I think about that, it hurt me that bad that they did. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Like, damn, bro, don't look, people don't think like that no more. Yeah. Motherfuckers dead, they be like, yeah, bitch. Ha ha. Right. Bro, I be thinking like, damn, that could have been me that's dead. Dead, you get what I'm saying, yeah. and that's fucked up. But don't get me wrong, run up on me the wrong way. I'm gonna shoot you like this, and I ain't gonna think about your ass because you was on some bull running up on me <laughs> playing uh, <laughs> bing bong. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I'm just saying, I had to put that out there because some people probably think I'm heartless, like he don't give a f no, yeah, I that, did. That was gonna they was just the playing too much. I asked you was how you Not me like it. I did nothing, but I'm just saying. You how know, you feel about black too much. black crime that this going? Cause this I don't like it. I don't like it, man. Down. I don't like it, bro. And we going at an alarming rate, bro. I, I was just saying to myself like a few weeks ago, I was like, damn, man, what? I was like, I know that 
this is the destroy the black man. It's genocide for the black man. What I just said in the song. Right. Keep it real with your brother. Turn the cheek for the white man, but we killing each other. That mean a white man to come step on your baby. You know, R.I.P. I. Uh, Ayana uh, Smith. Was that yeah, her name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That happened in my hood. That happened in the hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On Lily Bridge. Yeah. Uh, you know, the police going there, they, they they kill the little girl. My man beat the case. He's still out here who killed the girl. Even though he ain't killed the little girl on purpose, he came in, shot in the ceiling because the grandma, whatever she was doing, trying to stop him from coming in. He trying to, you that know. That was his daughter, wasn't it? No, uh, the grandma, somebody was trying to stop him from coming in, you know, because they ain't know it's the police for real. And I guess he, he shot through the ceiling or whatever. But I'm just saying, after he beat his case, Man, I can't even say all that, man. Yeah, yeah. I can't even say all that. But I just say we supposed to stand up for real, man. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody went went on with their life as they should because that was the law. He beat it in the law, I guess. I'm going to just say that on camera because mm -hmm. I don't want to incite violence and stuff like that. But I'm just saying, but let that would have been Pookie down the street. You would have damn near killed Pookie all family. Yeah, for yeah. sure. You get what I'm saying? And you know you're going to get life. You getting life after this. Right. You done threw away your whole life for Pookie, but you ain't throwing your whole life away to help your people for a change. Mm -hmm. Like, we ain't trying to go to war, but just stop picking on us. Right, for You sure. get what I'm saying? But we picking on each other now, worse than ever. Right. You know, and I, I see it, bro, because when I was younger, like I said, it went from that to me walking down the street like, no, I'm going to kill a motherfucker. I ain't going to kill myself. Right. But I ain't love myself. You get what I'm saying? I ain't love myself. Because if you want to hurt yourself like that, you don't love yourself. Because you worried about other motherfuckers loving, loving you, you more than right. you supposed to love yourself. Right. This even even in relationships. When motherfuckers take themselves out, they loving that person more than they love them. They own self. Mm -hmm. How you going to love that person you can't even love yourself? Right, right. You don't love that person like you think you love them. You no, just no, you, you you just attached. You get what I'm saying? But I'll be walking up the street mad, and I'll be looking for a nigga that look like me. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah, a nigga that look like me and, and feel sure like he tough. Know. He tougher than me. Mm -hmm. He think he tougher than me. The first thing try me. Be in the hood, that's all you're going to see anyway. Yeah, but it's tough. And then guess what? Like, I don't go through this no more because I'm Danny Always Win, and everybody in the fucking city know who I am. You get what I'm saying? Even when I'm out of town, everybody be knowing who I am. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about this. has been going on five, six years. I said five, seven, seven years. What, six, what, 2006? 2000, no. I mean, 16? 15. 15. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it been like that before the rap. I've always been popular. Right. You feel me? Just being in the streets. Before I opened up the tattoo shop, me just being in the streets hustling. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? I've been getting to this paint, dropping up 22s and shit when I'm up. 18, uh, dropped the dropped the 20s was the only thing out when I was 16. I dropped them too. <laughs> Drone when he ain't riding them. You feel me? Every right, time, right. every time a big rim, I, I was the second in the city put 26s on my Chevy. Fish. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Hell yeah. So yeah, like on that uh, I'm still on that same with the black on black. That's why I respect uh Zeke. You know, New Era Detroit man. That's my. Need to get in tune with that. My boy, you see, I be promoting the yeah. out of him. Yeah, I promote him. See, look, that. we usually do the, the toy giveaway together, but the last time, last year, I was going through so much. I think it was 2019 or 2020. Sure I was going through so much. I was depressed, bro. And it wasn't about no money or nothing. I was just going through life. Right. Going mm -hmm. through life things. You get what I'm saying? And he reached out to me. And I told him I could do it, and I, I was really ready to do it. But by the time the day came, that day came, it was so much going on. Just like I posted the interview yesterday, I was tired. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. As you know, so well, he, he had Viz, he had Viz do it this year because he ain't, he ain't feel like I probably was gonna come from that one time and not coming. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah! But we always did that together, and that's still my baby. We rock hard together. Yeah, man, that's some yeah. stand up. I I, I remember seeing. The the news years ago. I'm talking about. Oh, like, and he got that like, heart like us. Yeah, he sure. ain't no. I mean, no on some he real. No, he ain't Zeke, a real my cousin. Man. Wow. I I'm talking about that. my blood cousin Williams. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, my yeah, baby. My, that's my. That. That's my uncle. Heart. That's my uncle. 
One of my great uncles, man. Zeke, just, Zeke stand up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah Zeke, Zeke stand up you know, for that real. My granddad, brother. All that shit I was just talking about, Zeke feel the same way. Yeah, for sure. And I know he stand on that yeah. And so when I'm seeing the on the news, I'm like, this nigga look familiar. Not, not even knowing, man. I've been at family reunions with this nigga, but I could see the heart. I say, man, that's I always felt like that, but I never. I always you know, said that. I said, man, I need some niggas. With me, that's gonna stand up. Yeah, I always, yeah. I always felt like that though. Like Zeke remind me of me. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, for sure. He a real. Nigga. I always said that, and it's so crazy, right? What you just said. We need that to stand up. You know, we need men that to stand up. We got enough. Yeah, you right about it's that. Right. It's, we need men. You, you know right what I'm saying? That. Our, our, that's just our slang anyway. It don't yeah, be sure. no harm. It's really you know a word of endorsement in our in our culture. You get what I'm saying when we saying it. Mm. You know, cause you could use bitch as a to a nigga. This my bitch. and that ain't nothing <laughs> right. like when you talking to your one and when you in, yeah, this my bitch right here, this my little you feel me? Mm -hmm. Or this my little bitch, whatever. But uh I done heard niggas call other niggas. Yeah, yeah that would be crazy. Yeah. Niggas just be trying to try on some. I'm talking shit. about on some friends. Yeah, yeah, but that nigga be trying to try still. Yeah, they still. just slid it in there. Yeah. Man, anytime yeah. a nigga play with me and call me a bitch, it's like a smack in the face. For sure. Yeah. 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 For and sure, and sure. I turn around and call that a bitch too. They'll be like, bitch, I'm like, bitch. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, serious, I mean, you know? yeah, 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 I mean it. Yeah, I mean it. You yeah. a bitch, a female dog. <laughs> dog. <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. But look, okay, so let me let me, let me me ask you this. All right, so it's a lot of shit sliding today too, so that's why I'm okay. asking you this. You, uh. That's more than that. You think, um. Because it be snitching a lot, man. Do you, yeah. You know, it, it ain't no way of coming back from that, is it? No, not not from rag. Not from rag. But, but okay, getting, no, can I tell away you? With that shit, oh, but can it? I tell you something? Yes, it is a butt to it. It's a lot of shit that's snitching that be saying snitching that don't be snitching. If somebody break into your house and you make a police report because you try yeah, to get your insurance, ain't snitching, man. but to say that you on paperwork talking about you was talking about a uh, motherfucker broke your house. That ain't snitching. All right, bet. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've been in this talking, you know, I'm, I'm, look, hey, this the longest interview I had, right, and I like it, yeah, we in here kicking it, this shit. Yeah. Give me, um, give the people your, your social media, oh, you, you already said it, but, you know, give it to them on time. Uh, Danny always win, all one word, I'm verified. Blue check. Blue check, baby. Blue check. Been had a yeah. blue check in real life. But, yeah, for, you know, sure. for sure. I'm just letting you know, so you'll know when, when that pop up. I it, seen it, it, I was like, damn, cuz got the blue check. Yes, you know? sir, man. Without a deal. Without a without deal. deal. Without I a deal. I told you I ain't need man. Yeah, cuz I'm, I'm for real without a deal. Especially with them. I ain't yeah, gonna say the yeah. name, but you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm There's been a lot of bad that. going on around that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, um, yeah, man, that's a wrap, man. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for tuning in, you feel me? Thanks for coming oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Churches, man, y'all, y'all some solid man. Ain't nothing, uh, ain't, ain't nothing more a pleasure to me than coming to kick it with some real gangsters, man. For sure, you know. You know. And it's been for like real. that. It's for real. Real for any, any entertainment. Sure. Hell yeah, yep. And I want to give a special shout out to you know, uh, we gonna give a special shout out to my T.S. Nap, my little bro, uh, Big Kung Fu. P.O. Yeah, give a shout out Southwest to Southwest Pope. Mm -hmm. Pope uh, step in this camera and get off right quick, man. This is like the yeah. Breakfast Club. We like King Von and Lil Dirk right now. Yes, <laughs> I'm from the number streets, man. Southwest City in this. You know what I'm saying? And the boy get his own paper. I'm from that way, you know. When I say Southwest, I don't mean a hoe. No disrespect to the hoe, you know. We all one, but I'm from Mexican side that way. I'm now so from... You know what you got going on, bro. Ah, uh, man. Just... Music, movies, streets, whatever. Me and him got a song together Chill. too. You hear me? No cap. Tell, yeah, we, tell we, him. we got a dog song called Two Winners. You know what I'm saying? That's out right now. You feel me? Like 56k plus views of this. You feel yeah, me? that bitch just be splurging. Yeah, it's doing it. Yeah, it's doing, doing it thing. right now. Two winners. Yeah. yeah, and two winners. You know. Well, tip, 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 I, know tip. I know you in that uh, season two, right? I can't tell you oh. yet. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, but he he, he, he uh oh yeah he do play in McGraw yeah, Street. Yeah. Out, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, my, my my boy an actor too. You know he yeah. he be in McGraw. Uh, 
You know, he do his thing. You feel me? Yeah, but that's Shout out to my murder pain. Them. Oh, see, I ain't even put murder pain in, in, in yeah, that. Top five? I mean, in the top Cause ten. Because I was, was going to uh, say. Mur listen, 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 bro. Bro, I feel like I'm top five. So the world and the Look, I feel like I'm top five. So I for sure put my name top five. The the ten that I named, right? All them top fives. Man, I can name about fifteen in the city right now, and they all top fives. You get what I'm saying? Thank y'all for tuning in, man. Get with it. All right, it's on, man. Mac Ab, man. Do all that. In the trenches, you feel me? Real brothers, Danny always win. Yes, sir. I'm a B-R-E-A-D-B-R-O-V-A-Z If you wanna see me